In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about bed bug infestations and what you need to know about the units that are around it. Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I wanna to talk to everybody about surrounding unit infestations. And what I mean by that is let's pretend we're here in this unit and it has a bedbug problem. Things you need to be thinking about are what's going on in the surrounding units. And by that, I mean the ones that share a common wall left and right, the ones that are up and down, and I'll even talk to you briefly about the one across the hall. And so we're in a hotel here, and, and this, this episode is relevant to hotels, to apartments, you know, anywhere that you have group settings or group living situations or multifamily housing situations. And what we have found in our own research is that in garden style apartments, we find bed bugs in a surrounding unit to a known infestation about 25% of the time. So one out of every four times we'll find bugs in a surrounding apartment. Rutgers University has found in their research that you can find bed bugs in one of the surrounding units upwards of 80% of the time in senior living high rise situations. And so the degree at to which this happens will change by the situation and the people and this, that, and the other. But you have to be thinking about it because if this unit has a problem and we're treating it, if we're not addressing the surrounding units, if they have a problem as well, we'll never solve this problem. It's another thing to think about if you're a homeowner, an apartment owner that's dealing with bed bugs inside their apartment and you don't know where it came from. I'm not saying you'll ever be able to find out where it came from, but be thinking about the surrounding units. Now, I'm not going to go into the ethics and all the legal aspects of the surrounding units and what to do if it happens because it's very complicated. I don't have time in this episode to go through that, but it is something you want to be thinking about. And so let's take a walk out in the hall real quick. I'll kind of talk to you briefly about the, the units around this one. This is an active hotel, and so we're going to talk a little quietly out here. I just want to show the actual dynamic. So let's pretend this infestation, or I should say this room has an infestation. And what you want to be considering is doing the surrounding unit inspection. So this is one that is to the left or right, depending on your perspective, of the unit. How the bugs will move is they will move through wire conduits, they will move through pipe chases, they may even walk right out the front door and then go into this unit. So this unit shares a common wall, obviously the one on the other side is going to share a common wall, and then of course up and down. So those four units are going to need to be inspected. Now one area that people don't commonly talk about though, is the unit across the hall. In high-rise situations, Rutgers University Research as part of PH, uh, Rick Cooper's PhD work at Rutgers, they showed that bugs are very commonly just walking right out the front door and into the unit across the hall. And so high-rise situations, you want to consider that. You also want to be thinking about left, right, up, down. Common wall is what you want to be thinking about. So what do you do about it? So let's talk real quickly about surrounding units and, and things you need to be thinking about. I talked about the statistics. I talked about what you need to be considering. Honestly, you can start with just a basic visual inspection. So just going into those units and just walking through, doing an inspection of the beds and couches, that's a great place to start. Another thing you can think about is installing bed bug monitors or interception devices. You have under the leg interception devices, under the bed or next to the bed leg interception devices. They both have their pros and cons. You want to do your research on the devices that are out there. This one is Blackout. This one is Volcano. Uh, we are affiliated with both of these products. But as I said, other ones to go look at. Do your research. Um, but you can put those in the surrounding units. And then as you're treating this known infestation, you can be periodically inspecting the monitors or just the unit itself. And then you can do it moving forward. So let's say two months after we treat this unit, we can go in and inspect those units. And so very important though, to be considering those surrounding units, we do not ever recommend warranting or guaranteeing whatever word you want to use a bed bug treatment. If you're not getting into those surrounding units, because if you can't get into them and there's bugs there, you're almost never going to be able to solve this unit. So it's something to be thinking about. All right, everybody, if you have any questions on surrounding unit inspections, monitors, whatever it might be, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.